Have you ever wondered what it feels like to be on the cusp of change, balancing between the familiar and the unknown? The Seven Year Itch, released in 1955, invites you to ponder this very question. Directed by the legendary Billy Wilder and starring Marilyn Monroe and Tom Ewell, this iconic film explores the complexities of midlife crises and temptation. It's a story that has transcended generations, making us question our own choices and desires. When was the first time you watched this movie? Is there a particular scene or moment in this film that has had a lasting impact on you? Now, let's dive into some intriguing tidbits about this classic. Did you know that the famous scene where Marilyn Monroe's white dress billows up over a subway grate was shot on Lexington Avenue in New York City, drawing crowds of onlookers? The film's title, The Seven Year Itch, refers to a supposed psychological phenomenon where couples experience a decline in happiness after seven years of marriage. It's a phrase that has found its way into everyday conversations. But here's the real gem we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready to embark on a journey of nostalgia and introspection. The Seven Year Itch has left its mark on countless viewers, and your story might just be the next unforgettable chapter. Share your thoughts and memories with us, and let's keep the magic of this film alive. The Seven Year Itch is a 1955 film directed by Billy Wilder, adapted from George Axelrod's play of the same name. The story revolves around Richard Sherman, played by Tom Ewell, a married New Yorker whose wife and son have left the sweltering city for the summer. As he grapples with loneliness, he becomes entranced by his seductive and vivacious upstairs neighbor, aptly named The Girl, portrayed by Marilyn Monroe in one of her most iconic roles. The film explores Sherman's comedic fantasies and dilemmas as he struggles to resist his temptation while navigating the concept of the seven-year itch, a supposed point in marriage where infidelity becomes more likely. Notable for its witty humor and Monroe's unforgettable subway great scene, which showcases her white dress billowing in the wind, the film captured the essence of mid-20th century American sexual tension and suburban conformity. The Seven Year Itch is a classic example of Wilder's signature style, blending humor, satire, and social commentary. Its impact on popular culture endures through Monroe's enduring status as a sex symbol and the enduring exploration of marital discord. Marilyn Monroe's iconic white dress from the 1955 movie The Seven Year Itch set a record when it was auctioned for $4.6 million in June 2011. This dress, which famously billowed up around Monroe as she stood over a subway grate, became an enduring symbol of American cinema. Its sale price quintupled the previous record for a movie costume. The film, directed by Billy Wilder and based on a play by George Axelrod, follows the story of a man named Richard Sherman, played by Tom Ewell, who finds himself in a comedic midlife crisis. Monroe plays the girl who becomes his attractive and flirtatious neighbor. The auction of Monroe's dress highlights the lasting impact of the seven-year itch on popular culture. The film was not without controversy, though, as it was banned in Ireland due to being deemed indecent and unfit for general exhibition. Despite this ban, the movie went on to become a classic and Monroe's dress remains one of the most recognizable pieces of movie memorabilia in history. Interestingly, the film also features footage of Yankees catcher Yogi Berra and pitcher steady Eddie Lopat, which was meant to be part of a gossip sequence when Sherman daydreams about news of his activities with the girls spreading throughout New York City. This behind-the-scenes tidbit adds to the unique history of the film. In conclusion, the seven-year itch left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, with Marilyn Monroe's dress becoming an iconic piece of Hollywood history. The ban in Ireland and the inclusion of real-life baseball footage in the movie only add to the intrigue and enduring appeal of this 1955 classic. The 1955 movie The Seven-Year Itch premiered on June 1, 1955, coinciding with Marilyn Monroe's 29th birthday. Monroe was eager to work with director Billy Wilder, but she had to agree to star in There's No Business Like Show Business before Fox would allow her to make this film. The movie is a well-known classic, primarily remembered for the iconic scene where Marilyn Monroe's dress billows up over a subway grate. The film explores themes of marital fidelity and temptation, centering around the character Richard Sherman, played by Tom Ewell, 
who grapples with his wandering eye and imagines romantic encounters with Monroe's character. It's a light-hearted comedy that delves into the mid-20th century anxieties surrounding marriage and infidelity. One interesting tidbit related to the film is that the character Richard and his son discuss Captain Video and his Video Rangers, a popular spaceman show in the 1950s. It's a bit of pop culture history because it's often considered a precursor to shows like Star Trek and has numerous references in other media. However, despite its popularity, most of the show's studio tapes were erased around 1970, leaving only eight complete episodes known to exist, making it a lost treasure in the history of science fiction television. In conclusion, The Seven Year Itch is a classic film with a memorable moment in cinematic history. It marked Marilyn Monroe's 29th birthday, highlighting her charm and allure. The film's exploration of marital fidelity and its reference to the enigmatic Captain video adds depth to its cultural significance. The Seven Year Itch, released in 1955, is a notable film in the history of Hollywood. It's primarily remembered for two key reasons. First, it marks the beginning of Marilyn Monroe's superstardom. In the four years following this film, she solidified her status as a screen icon with movies like Some Like It Hot. However, her career later took a downturn, impacting both her film roles and personal reputation. Second, the film amusingly retained a line from the Broadway production, where Tom Ewell's character sarcastically says he has Marilyn Monroe in the kitchen. In the movie, he indeed has Marilyn Monroe in the kitchen, creating a memorable scene. An interesting tidbit about the film is that in the early 1980s, 20th Century Fox, which owns the film rights, considered remaking it with Al Pacino and Melanie Griffith in the lead roles. However, this project never came to fruition, and no remake has ever been made to this day. In summary, The Seven Year Itch is a 1955 classic that played a significant role in Monroe's career and introduced an iconic kitchen scene. Despite talks of a remake, the original film remains untouched to date. As we bid adieu to our journey through the iconic 1955 movie, The Seven Year Itch, let's take a moment to reflect on the magic of cinema and how it intertwines with our personal stories. This timeless classic, directed by the legendary Billy Wilder, captured the essence of an era and its humor and would have continued to resonate with audiences through the years. Have you ever found yourself in moments of whimsy, contemplating the nuances of a relationship, or perhaps just savoring the fleeting pleasures of life? The Seven Year Itch delves into the human experience with a playful yet poignant perspective. It's a film that invites us to explore the quirks and desires that make us, well, human. Now, I encourage you to share your thoughts and cherished memories of this film. Did it make you chuckle at the antics of Richard Sherman, played by the incomparable Tom Ewell? Or did Marilyn Monroe's effervescent performance as the girl leave an indelible mark on your heart? Perhaps you've had your own seven-year itch moment and can relate to the film in a deeply personal way. Film has a unique ability to stir emotions and provoke introspection. It's a canvas that allows us to paint our own experiences and connections. So, I invite you to share your favorite moments, reflections, or anecdotes about the seven-year itch. Let's keep the conversation alive and relive the charm of this cinematic gem. Thank you for your time and your shared thoughts. Your engagement adds richness to our exploration of this classic. Until next time, keep the magic of cinema alive in your heart, and remember that every story told on the silver screen becomes a part of our own narratives.